Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to create this interactive rectangle card animation in PowerPoint. Let's begin by inserting a rounded corner rectangle on the slide. I'll use these dimensions. Adjust the corner radius and align the rectangle in the middle. Then insert your text. I'll just paste my text from my clipboard. The fonts in use for this presentation are Georama and Bricolage Grotesque. The links are in the description if you'd like to download them. Now hold Ctrl, Shift and drag to duplicate the rectangle. Then press the F4 button to repeat the action. Now let's edit the text on these two rectangles. I'll just paste my text for my clipboard. Okay. Now let's change the colors of these rectangles. Let me just switch to my preferred color theme. Okay. It's a good design practice to use the colors on the color theme when designing slides as it saves time when editing and we're using the slides as a template. Let's also remove the outline from all the rectangles. Okay. Now let's rotate these two rectangles to the left a little bit. Format the background by changing the color. Select all the rectangles and align them together. With the rectangles selected, drag them to the right. Then open the selection pane and let's rename the rectangles so we can easily animate them. Let's insert a title text in this position. I'll paste my title text from my clipboard. Ensure the text is aligned properly. Select all the rectangles, head to the animations tab and add flyout animations. Change the effect direction, then add flying animation to the rectangles and change the effect direction. Open the animation pane, select all the animations and increase their durations. Then enter the effect options and add a smooth end to all the animations. Let's check it out on the full screen. As you can see, the entrance and exit animations are all over the place. And to get the desired animations, we're going to use animation triggers to introduce sequence to these animations. So, select each exit animation and trigger them with a click of their rectangles. Now, if you click on each rectangle, they fly out of the slide. For the entrance animations, we will need to trigger them with a click of a different object. I'll use the title text box. Okay. Let's give it a preview on full screen. As you can see, each object is clickable, and as you click on the rectangles, they fly out. If you click on the text box, they all fly in. We can make the flying animations dynamic by introducing delays between the animations. All right, let's give it a preview. So click each rectangle to get the exit animations. Then click on the text box to get the entrance animations. With the help of animation triggers, we can loop these animations until the end of time. There you go. That's a creative way to make your presentations interactive in PowerPoint. 
If you are interested in the tutorial slides, I recently created a community where members can gain early access to my tutorial slides and other presentation resources. The link's in the description if you are interested in joining the community. Also, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more PowerPoint awesomeness. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.